Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 8. Figure 1 is a graph showing the trajectory of a rugby ball. The height of the ball above the ground, h metres, has been plotted against the horizontal distance, x metres, measured from the point where the ball was kicked. The ball travels in a vertical plane, and the ball reaches a maximum height of 12 metres, and hits the ground at a point 40 metres from where it was kicked. We need to find a quadratic equation linking h with x that models this situation. So the first thing to note is that this is a quadratic shape. It's symmetrical and it's going through the x-axis at 0 and 40, which is when it hits the ground again. So we know that it's going to look and form h equals ax x minus 40. And so we need this so that we've got solutions for 0 when x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 40. We just need to work out what this a is. But we also know that at x is 20, so the halfway point of the ball's travel, h is 12, the maximum height. So if we put them in, then 12 is equal to a times 20 times 20 minus 40 12 is equal to minus 400a, so a is equal to minus 3 over 100, which gives us an equation of h equals minus 3 over 100 times x times x minus 40. Now the ball passes over the horizontal bar of a set of rugby posts that is perpendicular to the path of the ball. The bar is 3 metres above the ground and we want to use our equation to find the greatest horizontal distance of the bar from O. So let's put this on the diagram first. Now notice that the question says that we want the greatest horizontal distance of the bar. So our line at three meters does cross the quadratic in two places, but we want the one that's furthest away. So let's see if we can work that out. So by putting three, the height of the bar, into our equation, we get that 3 equals minus 3 over 100 x, x minus 40, which we now need to solve for x. Multiplying by the minus 100 and cancelling the 3s gives us that negative 100 equals x, x minus 40. Expanding the right hand side gives us x squared minus 40x. And rearranging gives us x squared minus 40x plus 100 equals 0. So this is a quadratic, so we can solve it using the quadratic equation with a equals 1, b equals minus 40, and c equals 100. So this gives us that x equals 40 plus or minus the square root of 1600 minus 400 all over 2, which simplifies to 40 plus or minus root 1200 over 2. So it's 20 plus or minus 10 root 3. Now as we want the one that is furthest away, our answer is going to be 20 plus 10 root 3, which to one decimal place gives us 37.3 metres. We now need to give one limitation of the model. There are many limitations that we can pick. For this one I've gone with the fact that there's no air resistance. This is generally a good one to pick in any model that is modelling travel, whether that's rugby ball, transport, anything like that. The fact that our model doesn't show air resistance is a good one to pick. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.